They are getting the bread out, they are getting the cheese cut, they're pouring the milk, they're washing the fruit, and then away they go. They're waiting for that first child to come. The children are students from Alberni, Gill and McQuinnah Elementary School. And the folks doing the work are volunteers from the Read and Feed program, a program open to any student who wants to stop by before class begins. Any child who wants to come to a safe place to get a bite to eat or a story, the books are being pulled out and the first child that comes will be read to. In fact, every child will be read to, and that's what makes this program special. It's not just aimed at children in need, it's open to any student who attends the school. It's not just the hungry children who come, it'll be the children who, uh, for whatever reason, want to come in where it's quiet, where they see a happy face, where maybe they had a fight with their brother or their sister and they're coming to school with their heads kind of hung low and this will cheer them up. And if they are hungry, we've got cheese and fruit and dairy products for them all to choose from. All of it is paid for by community support and run by a dedicated group of volunteers who rain or shine show up first thing in the morning. We have community people, we have business people, we have uh, forestry firefighters, we have RCMP, we have friends of friends. Anyone can come as long as they get a criminal record check and uh, a couple of references and away they go and they can cut cheese. That's great. It's worth it. Like, I know we don't like getting out of bed, but it's once you get here, it's just worth the effort. Just looking at the faces of the children. The Read and Feed program is currently in three Valley schools, but they're hoping to expand, and that's where they need your help. If you're interested in volunteering, contact Sally Anderson for more information. She'd love to tell you all about it. In Port Alberni, I'm Nancy Wilmont.